It's time for us to have some fun. Let's rebrand some of my favorite candy to sound like health foods. For anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Matt. I'm an ex-graphic designer, current content creator in the health and fitness space. On TikTok and Instagram, I do these health food rebrands where I take common foods that people think are unhealthy and rebrand them to sound like healthy options. And I'm in no way saying that the options themselves are bad. I think you should eat whatever you want, but it's a lesson in how powerful marketing can be, especially in the health food industry. By highlighting certain buzzwords and using certain branding tactics, you can make any food seem like a health food option. And I would love to bring all my rebrands over to YouTube, but the videos are just over a minute long, so I can't upload them as shorts but a minute seems like a really short YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is give you some compilations of some of my favorites. So without further ado, let's go through some of my favorite candy rebrands. Rebrand Sour Patch Kids to sound like a health food. We're gonna rebrand the Sour Patch fruit flavors because obviously fruit's healthy. So we'll go with a plain package. We gotta make the Sour Patch Kids logo nice and tiny. We're trying to hide it a little bit, no offense. And we'll call this Sour Patch Kids Fresh Fruit. Now for the flavor name, we'll call this hand-picked strawberry. It's just a flavor name. They don't actually have to be hand-picked. And to be fair, we'll put artificially flavored on here, but just make it really, really tiny. And now we just got to run through a checklist of healthy sounding things. Fat-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, vegan-friendly, and mood boosting. Why not? I'm happy when I eat Sour Patch Kids. Add a strawberry on there, and then our little Sour Patch Kid, of course. And then we'll do the same thing for grape with our vineyard fresh grapes and peach with our ripe summer peach. And there you go. We got healthy Sour Patch Kids. What do you think? Rebrand M&Ms to sound like a health food. Yeah, let's do it. For this rebrand, instead of a regular bag of M&Ms, I'm gonna use the share size of the M&Ms. In that bag, the servings are a little bit smaller, only 140 calories, so I could put right on the front 140 calories per serving. That makes it sound like a little bit of a lower calorie treat. M&Ms are low in sodium and low in cholesterol, so I could highlight both of those things. No trans fat, of course, will include that. M&Ms use natural flavor as one of their ingredients, obviously a bunch of other colors as well, but we can say with natural flavor. And tried and true, we have to include gluten-free on there. And now we have to address the name. I can't just call these M&Ms because they're never gonna sound healthy, so I have to come up with a brand new name. I could go a whole bunch of different directions with this, but I think I'm gonna call these Vital Drops. The word vital or vitality it has a really positive connotation, and I just, I like the way that sounds. But I do want to keep the M&M brand, so I will call these Vital Drops by M&Ms. And as always, I do need to make the design a little bit nicer, so let's change things up. And there they are, our healthy M&Ms. Let me know what you think, and challenge me with your ideas for what I should rebrand into a health food next. Rebrand Reese's to sound like a health food. The greatest candy of all time? Easy. We're going to rebrand the king size Reese's Big Cups. Having two giant Reese's Cups means there's 10 grams of protein total. So we're going to call this Reese's Pro Plus, the plus being fiber. So we're going to say 10 grams of protein and 4 grams of fiber. We're not making any claims that this is high protein or high fiber. We're just stating how much is in there. And we're just omitting the fact that this is over 400 calories. Reese's are technically all natural because there's no real definition of what natural is. So we will call this one all natural. And you know we got to throw in some of our favorite health food buzzwords. Gluten-free, no cholesterol, no trans fat, and no artificial sweeteners. We'll make the packaging a little bit more exciting. I still want this to be really simple and minimal. And of course, our Reese's Big Cups. And there you go. We got healthy, high-protein Reese's Pro Plus. Side note, I really wanted to make these shaped like a bicep. But as you can see, that's kind of ridiculous. But there it is anyway. What should I rebrand next? Rebrand Skittles to sound like a health food. This bag is stale. Ugh. Let's do it. When you look at the ingredients of Skittles, it's basically sugar, corn syrup, and colors. They're delicious, don't get me wrong, but we have to find a unique angle to make these sound like a health food. So we're gonna go the sports route for this one because anyone doing intense sports or endurance activities, they need sugar. So our product's gonna be called Skittles Sport. Skittles do have a wee bit of sodium. Sodium's an electrolyte, so we're gonna say with electrolytes. And to stick with the sports theme, we'll put built to perform right at the top. 
I'm also gonna add on there quick energy when you need it most. We do wanna make these feel a little bit healthier, so we will put plant-based and fat-free on there. And now let's be honest, these still just look like Skittles. So let's fix that. Instead of a red bag, let's go with a black bag. I'm gonna add some Skittles on there, and of course, rainbows. And it feels like it's missing a little something, so I'm gonna take a page out of the Gatorade playbook and add a lightning bolt right into the logo. And there are our healthy Skittles, our Skittles Sport. Let me know what you think, and as always, challenge me with what I should turn into a health food next. Can I rebrand Gushers to sound like a health food? I think so. I love Gushers, I love the way they look, but they are way too colorful to be considered a health food. So we need to really simplify the packaging and I'll keep the Gushers logo on here, but it's gonna be a little bit simpler and much, much smaller. One of the main ingredients in these Gushers is actually a pear puree. So I'm gonna really lean into the pear here. First and foremost, let's put a nice picture of a pear front and center. So let's rename these Sunkissed Pear Fruit Juice Bursts. Gushers does use fruit juice. It's not really what the filling's made out of, but there's fruit juice in there. So they're fruit juice bursts. And since these do contain vitamin C, we will add plus vitamin C. And we really wanna highlight the pear, so we'll say made with real pear puree with other natural flavors because natural flavor is one of the ingredients in Gushers. These don't contain gelatin, so they are vegan. We'll say 100% plant-based and they're also gluten-free. And if you've seen any of my rebrands before, you know I gotta squeeze in a few more buzzwords. In this case, low fat, cholesterol free, and low sodium. And there you go, there are our healthy gushers. Let me know what you think and challenge me with your ideas for what I should rebrand next. Rebrand Snickers to sound like a health food. Let's go. Snickers obviously contain peanuts, so we're gonna go heavy into the health benefits of peanuts for this one. And we're gonna call this Snickers Plant Powered. This is a little trick where we don't have to be a plant-based snack to say plant powered because we have some protein from peanuts which come from plants. And underneath that, we'll say protein from heart healthy peanuts because we got those healthy fats in there from the peanuts. We'll put natural energy booster on there from the protein. Snickers is all about you're not you when you're hungry. So we're gonna put that on there. We're also gonna put more protein on there with a the little asterisk. Now this doesn't contain any more protein than a regular Snickers bar, but it does contain more protein than the average candy bar. And even though there's peanuts in a Snickers bar, it does count as low sodium. And our final trick for this, we're gonna do with the Snickers squared bars do then we can bring the calories down and cut it in half say 120 calories and for good measure let's just throw a heart behind it and obviously this package looks really plain so let's add a little bit of color and a little bit of plant magic and there you go we've got our healthy snickers bar let me know what you guys think and challenge me with what i should rebrand into a health food next